everybody welcome back to my channel i'm really really sorry for the lighting i'm currently using a ring light that is terrible primark reopened Woo! i headed over there and got myself a few bits to be fair i thought i would have gotten like a million things but i didn't i only managed to get a few items but i thought i would still show you what i got what they're doing and yeah I also popped into Poundland, so if you want to see what I got there as well, that will be at the end of the video. In case you're new, hi, my name's Ellie Rose Kelly. I upload videos every Monday at 3pm, so subscribe if you haven't already. The first thing that I got were Tic Tacs. I'll be surprised, no. I got two packs of these. One is nearly finished, and this is full. This is Cherry Cola. The first thing that I got is a Looney Tunes pyjama top in a large. I think I'm gonna give this to my sister. This was six pounds reduced to three pounds. Obviously I'm a little bit smaller than her, so on her it's gonna look like a t-shirt, whereas on me it looks a bit like a baggy t-shirt. But I thought this was really cool. It's a really cute light blue color and got the logo. It's just, it's just super cute, isn't it? Next, I'm not too sure who I bought this for. It's this really nice silky pajama top. It's kind of a little bit, a little bit sexy if you ask me. This was six pounds reduced to three pounds also, but it's in a large, which is a 14 to 16. I am normally an extra small in Primark sizes, but this, I just, I just thought I'd pick it up. It's, it's low in the back, which I thought was the front, but it's not, and it's long in the front. But this is just really cute. I might even wear this. It looks like it's not a large large, if you know what I mean. Like it's, it's really nice and I love the colours, like it just, it suits really well, it seems really flowy. I just, I think this would look really, really cute, so I'm really excited about that. This thing I bought is really similar style and it wasn't reduced. This was £4.50 in an extra small, which like I said, it's a 6 to 8. It's a dark navy blue with like floral pink and green prints on it. It's really silky, it's the same sort of material and it's the same style, it's short at the back and long and flowy in the front. And this is just really cute. I don't have that many pyjamas, so I thought I should really... Bride and, bride, bride and my horizon. <laughs> this I'm still not sure if it's a pajama top or not. I don't think it is. The next one is a piglet um, jumper. I'm not too sure it's supposed to look like this. It looks really like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It looks kind of scratched off if you ask me, but like I'm kind of thinking like it's supposed to look like that, or maybe that's why it's reduced, I don't know. It was eight pounds reduced to three pounds. I bought this in a medium, which is a 12 to 14. I don't know if I'm going to give this to my sister once again for Christmas or her birthday, which is in July, so potentially. But I just, I feel like this would look really nice. Obviously, as I'm saying this, I don't know what it looks like, but I feel like this would look really nice with like, just as like a dress for me, or like really a really oversized jumper. I don't know, like I know it's June, but like it's a really thick material, like it's definitely, I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm quite a fan of it. And it's got some butterflies, it's got piglet on it. It's Disney, obviously, and it's got a butterfly in the top. Like, I'm, I'm a really big fan of this. Now, this is the first thing that I picked up, and honestly, I have no, <laughs> I have no reason to pick this up. It's an, I just realized I bought it in bloody extra large. For what reason did I buy this? <laughs> I can see me buying this in extra small. I bought a pink cardigan <laughs> um, in an extra large for £5.50. Oh, no, I didn't, it was £3, that's why I picked it up, it was £3. Um, I still have no reason to buy this. My sister will not like this. Um, I guess I could wear it oversized, although... Papa, can you wait one second? Can you wait one second? You know the, like, chunky... I really, really want a chunky, grey, like, oversized jumper. Like, do you want to... Not, not jumper, like, cardigan. I really want one of them, if you know what I mean. But this... You know, these sort of jumpers, they're more, like... I don't want to say granified, but, like sophisticated if you will so I just don't see how this is gonna look nice oversized but we'll see maybe it will I doubt it I really doubt it I can't for the life of me remember who in my family or all my friends watch Game of Thrones I know I don't I feel like it's my sister which is why I picked this up <laughs> this is a also again another um, pajama top it was eight pounds reduced to three pounds um, this is a large 14 to 16 it's a Game of Thrones it's long sleeve like I don't know what colour this is, like like a dark purple, like I feel like there's a name for it but I can't, I can't think. But this once again could look really cute, just oversized. Um, they had like a lot of medium large, extra large, extra extra large sizes but like uh, 2x small, extra small, small. I couldn't really find any, that's why a lot of what I got is for my sister because her birthday's coming up. It's, there isn't like that much for the smaller sizes and I don't know if they're more popular or just they, I don't know, like they just, they just didn't have them. But like I said, like this I'm really happy with. And this feels really soft. Like, I know I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I might just keep this to lounge in because 
it's well soft. Okay, I also have a large and medium man's t-shirt, like plain t-shirt. Because my friend Nicole is obsessed with tie-dyeing right now, so I want I got a medium for me because I think oversized tie-dye shirt would look really cute with mum jeans, and I got a large for my mum. And the men's t-shirts are just cheaper and better than the women's in Primark. Um, but I've got to give them to her. <laughs> I also bought some more joggers because I had so many, like so many, and I only have two pairs now, and I don't know where they've gone. Like I seriously have no idea where they've gone. Um, I had to get them in a small instead of an extra small, but I was just like tying them with this. I think you can tie them with this. Um, yeah, once again, men's, of course, so freaking soft. I wish it wasn't so hot because I wear these tonight, but it's it's way too hot right now. But these were five pounds, and yeah, I'm annoyed, like I said, that they're small, but I don't know. But these, they're, they're a lovely colour as well, like they're just, they're so pretty. And lastly, for the Primark portion of this video, is a sports bra, which I've seen so many times in there, but I've never picked it up. Um, and I realised when I was doing the Chloe Ting workout thing, which I only did for two days, but I did the whole eight in a day, so if you want to go watch that video, make sure to do that, link will be in the description below. Um, I realised I have no workout clothes, so I managed to pick up this one, which was a small, which was a 10 to 12, realising once again I should've got an extra small. Um, probably should've got an extra extra small, because I wasn't gifted with the gals. But this is like a grey, pink, I don't know, like it's just, it's striped, it's cute colours, it's pastels, like it's just super cute. And like I said, this was <laughs> six pounds reduced to three pounds, so I thought, where could you go wrong? That was all I got from Primark, but like I said, I did pop into Poundland, so I thought I would just quickly show you what I got in Poundland. First thing I bought was the Spark Barks chicken fillet treats for Zoe. She's never tried these before, but she's the fussiest dog when it comes to treats, so I thought that I would just try them out. Then some takeaway cups. You get 10 in a pack because I think I'm meant to be going back to work soon and I spend way too much cup. I spend way too much coffee. <laughs> I spend way too much money on coffee like every single every, every day I'm at work I like have a coffee here and normally take one of these with me to the um, train station, get a Costa or a Starbucks, get on my bus which takes an hour to work, get off the bus, go back to Costa, get another one, go to work, on my lunch break, get another one. Like, I spend so much money and I don't really want to be going there now. Like I'm going to have to start getting public transport anyway. So I thought this would be an easier way to not get the coronavirus and it's cheaper. We're saving money and we're saving lives. We stand. Also, if I'm not wanting coffee, which doesn't sound like me, I bought a pack of hot chocolate mockat drink light. Less than 40 calories, 10 sachets. Yes, please. I also bought some grips. They didn't have any other colours apart from this, which I thought was a bit strange, but... And they're large. <sighs> Honestly, I think I'm one of those people that can only shop on my own. When I'm with somebody, I just, I get so distracted. Or with my mum. With my mum, I'm fine, because I can, like, take as long as I want and not feel pressured. Not that I was feeling pressured, but you know what I mean? I want to try the front fringe thing, because I really want to try a front fringe. I feel like it would look really good or really, really bad. I had a front fringe in the past, and it looked really bad, like, really bad. But I feel like now my face is like come into itself, it might look okay, but I don't want to risk it just cutting it. So I want to do the trick, but you need grip, so. Chewing gum. Um, 20 micro lights, LED bulbs, um, copper, coloured, ow, wire. Some DIYs coming soon. Some rescue oil, because my nan is obsessed. Some Tango 2-in-1 pop, because I got so excited when I saw these, and so did Nicole more like, so we've got some of these. <laughs> and last but not least, a herb garden. Because my I saw one in my mum's, I want to say eBay basket or AliExpress basket, and it was like a fiver. And it was this size as well, it was small. So I saw it and I was like, might as well just pick it up for a pound. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I'm really, really sorry for the lighting. I'm still getting used to filming with not studio lights and a ring light, and this ring light is bloody trash. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to start filming during the day or something. I'll, I'll sort it out, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Follow me on social medias like TikTok, Instagram, all that jazz. Everything will be down below. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you when I see you.